Finally, in laying the MP to rest, several members of parliament and other dignitaries shared fond memories of the late John Kuma. I'm here today because it's the last time uh, I can serve his memory, but he is such a great man who's lost a true son of the land. And my presence here and that of almost everybody is to say that even though we work from different political parties, we have a common objective, and that common objective is for the development of our country. And, and he epitomized that objective of working for our country. That's why we are here to serve his memory. Very sad that we lost him. Very sad that we lost him at that age. But a good Lord knows best. And I may so rest in peace. I wish his family, the wife, the children, and a good people of our just so That's his serious condolences. What should young people entering into politics learn from his life? You have to be very honest, you have to be very dedicated, you have to rely on the good Lord for every endeavor. As, 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 as at the, when he became a minister, most of the time he was one of the last people to speak during debates on the economy and on the budget. And we could see that he was prepared before he took the form. Come and argue with such energy and with such facts that it was difficult to ignore him. For me, it's a great loss to the MPP tradition. I uh, would pray that we'll get more people like him to take the place of those we have lost. The dignitaries, sympathizers, and relatives pay their last respects as they fall past the remains of the late Deputy Finance Minister, which was laid in state. While the MPP mourns with a gentleman, let us celebrate their life, accomplishments, and enduring legacy of Rabu John Kuma. His unwavering commitment to good governance, legislative excellence, public service will forever be remembered. Dr. Mahamud Baumia described the late MP as a dedicated member of the New Patriotic Party and a strong supporter of his bid to become the New Patriotic Party's flag bearer. His sudden death in March has been a personal blow. Long before I decided to run for president, Honorable John Kuma was among a few party leaders and legislators to have publicly urged me to run and pledged his unending support for my bid. True to his public pledge, John supported me strongly, campaigning with me everywhere in the country. When I finally announced my decision to contest as flag bearer of the MPP. He desired to see me win the December presidential elections. And I pray God will grant his desires for me and the party and the country. Tributes were also read by the family, his wife and children. <laughs> But the be also that you could do here. Some of them are afraid to do. Take him. Go to Ambontia. If you want to try, we use it. If you do it, you want to do it. You want to do it. Why you be? Why you be? You are my hero. My king. The fighter. I love you. And I will cherish your memory forever. Till we meet again. Charlie. Honey boy, take it, rest, and rest in peace. There is no doubt that our father, our mother, the father, John Akunta Akuma, was a chosen one of this generation. A veteran of work, a revolutionary thinker, and a steadfast advocate for his beloved Ghana. Today, we are gathered here with heavy arms to bid farewell to a remarkable man. As we stand here in silent remembrance, we celebrate a life that touched so many, a life that will forever be cherished in our hearts.
taken to the Biapochi Royal Cemetery for burial. A Thanksgiving service is expected to be held on Sunday, 19th March 2024. A late deputy finance 